Hi, I'm Nazim Hassan. This is the second part of the CDRA tutorial in HFSS. In the first part, we designed a complete CDRA in HFSS and we stopped when the simulation was running. So in this tutorial, we're going to explore the simulation results such as reflection coefficient, radiation plot, and the electric field inside the CDRA. Okay, so the simulation is done. Now let's explore the results. Let's check the S11 first. So select new report. So this is the S11. As you can see, it's almost resonating at 4.2 um, gigahertz although theoretical calculation was around 4 gigahertz but it's fine um, now let's check the 3d radiation plot um make sure you select sweep so that you can check uh, the radiation plot in different frequencies select db um, let's check at 4 gigahertz first so this is the radiation plot at 4 gigahertz and let's also check at 4.2 gigahertz so as you can see the radiation is maximum at the top all right so it's a broadside radiation pattern you can also check the two-dimensional polar plot for that go to um, radiation pattern and then go to directivity and db So at 4 gigahertz, the first phi value should be 0 degree to see the H plane. And to see the E plane, you have to change the phi value to 90 degree. So let's do it. Let's check first 0 degree cup plane. So this is the H plane, car plane, and to see the E plane radiation pattern, you have to select phi equal to 90 degree. And then add trace. Okay, so this is the two dimensional radiation plot. You can change the axis property to uh, realign, rescale this excess value. Let's change to minimum scale to minus 10 with the spacing of 2, 2 dB. So as you can see, the maximum directivity is around 7 dBi. All right. It's a broadside radiation pattern. You can also check the electric field on the dielectric resonator. Select CDRA first and then go to field overlays and right click. Select the vector E, which is the vector field of electric field. And make sure you select sweep here. Then you can check the uh, vector electric field at any of your desired frequency let's check it at 4.2 gigahertz vector e in volume cdra which is the cylinder done so select the vector e let us zoom it Let's check the top view. Okay. 
Um, you can also change the attributes to see the fields. Let's define the maximum field as 1000 volt per meter. It's the scale. Um, let's delete it. You can change the scaling, the spacing. Yeah, looks fine. Um, so this is uh, in zero degree. Let's check the E field at 90 degree. So this is the top view of the electric field. And you can also see the side view. Okay. So depending on the electric field orientation, you determine what modes is generated in the dielectric resonator. Okay. You can also hide it. And in order to see um, the radiation pattern with the antenna, you can uh, use the same overlay, field overlay property from here, radiation field. And let's see, second plot, One, five. So you can see the antenna and the radiation pattern at the same time. And to see it uh, in a better way, you can just uh, hide this components, radiation box. You can also hide the port and the PC cap. Now, now you can see the radiation plot uh, with the antenna structure. Okay. So I hope I have clarified how to design the dielectric resonator antenna in HFSS and explore the simulation results. Thank you very much for watching this lengthy tutorial. I don't prefer to make long tutorial, but somehow it became long. I cannot help it. Anyway, thanks again.